Yo guys, what is going on? It's Luki here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going through the best tips and tricks on Modern Warfare. So yeah, I'm basically just going to be going through a bunch of different tips and tricks for you guys because I know a lot of you guys are struggling with this game because this game is very, very different from the previous Call of Duty's we have had. So a lot of the like different play styles and stuff like that, it's just, it's just a very different Call of Duty and it's very different to what we're used to. Now on previous Call of Duty such as Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, all of these previous Call of Duties we've had, I would always give tips like for to do with rushing but as you guys probably know um, on this game, rushing on this game isn't exactly that good because this game plays a lot slower than all the previous Call of Duty so your playstyle is going to have to be a lot different, you're going to have to adapt to the disc game and you're just going to have to uh, start playing Call of Duty a little bit different from what you used to and in today's uh, video I'm going to be talking uh, through a few little tips and stuff like that on how you guys can do exactly that but before I do get into today's video I'd like to quickly announce that me and my friend the Gibbonator are doing a Modern Warfare giveaway we're going to be giving away one full copy of the game to one of you lucky guys or if you guys already have the game but you still win the giveaway you can you can go ahead and win a 50 pound paypal um or 50 pound amazon gift card or however you guys would like the 50 pounds all you got to do to enter it is subscribe to me and him his link is in the description down below and there should also be a tweet with all the um all the stuff linked to the giveaway and basically all the information to do with it anyway Without further ado, sorry for the long intro, but I'm going to get straight into these tips. So I definitely recommend you guys listen to everything I have to say because these tips are extremely helpful and you guys are going to just do so much better after you watch this video. Anyway, so like I said before, this game is a lot slower paced than normal. And that being said, you're going to have to be playing a lot different from what you're used to. Now on previous Call of Duties, I would absolutely just rush the enemy team as much as possible. But on this game, you got to play a bit more slow, and that's probably one of the biggest tips on this game, is literally just to play a bit more slow, uh, think about everything you're about to do. Now, shout out to Tiger Cod, by the way, I watched one of his uh, videos previously, and he made a very good point in that video, um, I'll link his channel down below, by the way, if you guys want to subscribe to him, he's a very good YouTuber, but he mentioned a very, very good point. So, in previous Call of Duties, um, basically, you would have to kind of react to everything that happens but in this game you kind of have to um, like plan what you're gonna do and you have to like think about what you're gonna do so uh, like I don't know how to explain it very well he explains it a lot better in his video but basically like in previous Call of Duties you would just rush and you would just take everything as it comes and it would be all down to like how you react to that certain situation but on this game you kind of have to plan out different things and stuff like that and you have to think about what you're going to do so just think about what you're going to do if you're going to rush um their spawn then think about how you're going to do that think about where enemies could be because on this game um people camp a lot on this game so that's probably one of the biggest issues in this game is the amount of people that camp so um on this game i recommend checking a lot of corners everything you go like every single time you go around a corner every single time you enter a doorway or something like that I recommend simply just pre-aiming around that corner or however you guys want to um, because you never know there could be a guy there so you're gonna have to be ready for that gunfight because if there is a guy there camping in a corner with a shotgun or an LMG or something like that then you guys are gonna probably most probably die but if you guys prepare for that and you think about what could happen and you guys are ready for that then you have a much higher percent of chance of actually surviving that gunfight and getting that kill anyway the next tip i'm going to be uh talking about this is just a little tip by the way that a lot of people don't do um and that is just to change your settings now i'm not going to talk too much about this tip because it's a very very small tip but i just thought i'd include it in today's video because i know a lot of you guys are new uh, this tip is kind of for like the newer kind of players so i know a lot of people they get on to this game and as soon as they get onto it they just go straight into public match they don't change any of their settings they don't change the sensitivity they don't think about anything like that so that a lot of the time ends up in making that player not do as good as that they could do so for example every single time i start a new call of duty i will pick a sensitivity that 
suits my playstyle. So um, I will probably, on most Call of Duties, I use a 7 or an 8 sensitivity. On this game, I use a 7 to a 7, or sometimes, I, like, if I feel like it, I change it to an 8-8. Eight, eight. But you guys can go ahead and use whatever sensitivity you guys want to. Now, the other settings don't really matter too much unless you do like to use different controls. Uh, but I do recommend playing with the different settings because... A lot of people do like to use different settings. I know some people that use really low sensitivities, but they still do really well with it. And I know so, some people who use the maximum sensitivity and that they still do really good with that as well. Um, so, you know, uh, you never know. Just mess around with the settings and you guys could find something that you like. Anyway, another tip on this game um, that not many people are talking about is to go ahead and use EOD and to use battle hardened now what these are is basically flak jacket and tactical mask so as you guys know on this game every single person on the other team has to have in their class they have to have it no matter what you can't even take it off like you have to pick one um and basically you have to either have like two tacticals and two lethals so um or i think it's one lethal actually yeah one lethal and i'm pretty sure it's two or uh, it depends what you use um but yeah everyone pretty much on the other team is going to have a lethal and a tactical on their class now this could be a stun grenade this could be a claymore this could be a grenade this could be a flash anything so if you stick on eod which is basically flak jacket you are not going to be dying from those claymores which literally every single player on the enemy team uses if you guys remember in the beta oh my god everyone uses claymores and nine times out of ten when you die it's probably due to a claymore because you run around a corner there's a little claymore sitting by the window or by the door you walk by it and you instantly die and it really really sucks because a lot of times i was on big streaks and i'd die from a stupid little claymore on the floor um but sticking eod on is gonna stop you from dying from those so i definitely recommend you guys sticking those perks on and then once again um the battle hardened perk is basically flak uh, tactical mask so this is gonna stop you from getting stunned and all that stuff you still do get stunned but it's not it's not as effective um as it would be if you weren't using it so i definitely recommend you guys sticking those two perks on if you guys are finding a big problem of dying all the time from flashes or grenades or claymores or whatever so if you guys are dying from them all the time just stick on those two perks and you guys will most probably do a lot better in your game anyway the next tip is going to be to put score streaks on that you know you can get so i know a lot of people on this game um they see like this has happens on pretty much every single call of duty um let's say for example you're a beginner at the game you're not that good at the game you're, you're kind of getting new to it you don't really know how things work and all that stuff um a lot of people for some reason they think you know what i'm going to stick on the highest score streak in the game that is a very bad idea because let's be real you're a new player you're probably not going to be able to get that streak and you're going to be wasting like potential of getting something like a care package or like a low streak such as a lightning strike or something like that um so i definitely recommend you guys not sticking on extremely high like out of potentially getting like streaks so don't stick on those streaks that you know you're not gonna be able to get stick on streaks that you know you can get every single game so personally if i was a new player i would use and no matter what i always always use uav in the gameplay in the background i am using three different streaks by the way but that's just me experimenting with the different streaks um but literally all the time i always use um I always use UAV and then I use two other streaks that I like. So let's say, for example, I am a new player. I would use something like a UAV, a care package. By the way, care packages are so, so good if you are a new player. Um, so care packages can literally unlock you any streak in the game at all. Maybe it's a rubbish UAV or a rubbish little score streak, or maybe it's the highest score streak in the game. You never know until you open it. So I definitely recommend you guys just stick on score streaks that you know you can get. So if you're like medium tier player or a good player then stick on whatever streaks you guys want to um but if you're a beginner just stick on some lower score streaks until you improve at the game and then maybe you should go for those higher score streaks because um it's just not going to help you out in any way whatsoever if you put on these high streaks that you know you can't get so just be realistic with your score streaks and put on something that you know you can get 
Anyway, the next tip on today's video is going to be to stick around the outside of the map. Now, on previous Call of Duties, I have always, always done this, and I have always said that this is probably one of the best things you can do to stop dying less and just become a better player at the game. Now, on this game particularly, it is even more important than ever because, as you guys know, on previous Call of Duties, there, there's this thing called three lane map. So if you think of a map from Black Ops 4, for example, there's always a left hand side of the map, a right hand side of the map, and a middle side of the map. There's always like three lanes that you can take. Uh, however, on this game, on a lot of the maps, there are quite a lot of different lanes. So, um, for example, I can't remember the name of the map, but in the beta, when you played the 10v10 game mode, um, I can't remember the name of the map, sorry, but there's like a left-hand side with buildings, there's a middle side, like a middle left-hand side, which is just a road, there's a middle side, which is a big building, and then there's literally like three different lanes on the right-hand side of the map as well. So, on this game, there's literally so many different lanes, so many different ways you can get to one place. If you wanted to get to a certain building, there's probably like six or seven different ways that you can actually get into that building. So personally, a big, big tip, and it does help even more than ever on this game, is to stick on the edges of the map. So um, now I don't mean just stick to one place the whole game. I'm not saying to camp. I'm just saying to like kind of patrol the outside of the map. So for example, um, when I would start a game, I would most probably head to the right hand side or the left hand side of the map. Uh, now, the reason for this is because you get into less gunfights that are one on two or one on three. So you get into less gunfights where you're not against like three people at once. So Because if you go to the middle of the map or something like that, you are going to probably get into gunfights against like three or four maybe even five or six people depending on what game mode you're playing so if you want to um basically lessen the chance of getting into gunfights against very very like a lot of people at once um just stick around the outside of the map because when you stick to the outsides of the map you guys will be kind of up against um like one person at a time maybe two people at a time um but mainly it is one time one person at a time and obviously if it's just you versus another person then you're most probably going to win that gunfight a lot more easy because it's just going to be you versus him so you guys can take your time in that gunfight and you guys don't have to worry about trying to kill two people at once or three people or maybe four or five or six people at once so obviously i don't recommend sticking to the middle of the map that's basically what i'm saying just stick to the edges of the map and you guys will see See your gameplay improve tremendously now if you are a better player I you can go in the middle of the map if you guys want to but this is probably only something you should do if you are used to where people go so for example um, on previous like Call of Duty let's say for Nuketown for example um, I would only head to the middle of the map because I know where people are going to be there's probably going to be someone sitting in one of the windows there's probably going to be some someone sitting in the bus there's someone going to be sitting behind that car on the right hand side of nuke town uh, so just think about that now um i'm using black ops 4 as an example because obviously this game is new and i can't really describe much of much of the maps uh, that well um but yeah so just stick to the left or right hand side of the map maybe every now and then if you know it's safe you can go into the middle of the map but only if you know it's safe and only if you have like a uav up or something like that but if you don't have a uav up just stick to the left or right hand side anyway enough of that tip the next tip i'm going to be talking about in today's video is um trying to just learn the spawns so spawns on this game are a little bit different than what we have previously had because uh, the de developers are actually trying to stop spawn trapping in uh, I can't, sorry I can't speak very well at the moment but um, they're trying to stop spawn trapping from happening as often so um, I don't know the spawns on this game are just messed up in the beta on certain maps I was literally in the enemy spawn and they were still spawning around me. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if they're going to be fixed. I haven't played the game enough yet to realise if they have been fixed yet. Um, but they seem to still be a little bit weird in this game. So I do recommend you just, um, like, the more you play, the more you're just going to learn the spawns anyway. Um, now, if you have a, a mini-map up on your map, so if you have a UAV or anything like that as well, 
this will help you with learning the spawns and all that kind of stuff um and that brings me on to my next tip and that is to look at the minimap literally all the time now i don't mean all the time as in 100 percent just staring at the minimap because obviously that's going to get you killed because you're not going to be concentrating on the main game um what i mean is let's say 50 50 percent of the time you're going to be focusing on what's happening in front of you and then 50 percent of the other time when you're not focusing on what's happening in front of you you should be looking at the minimap now the minimap can give away so many different things. For one, it's going to help you know where your teammates are. Now, um, you might think, how's that going to help you to know where the teammates are? But trust me, it does help you because if you know where the teammates are, you should know where the enemies are because usually the, your enemies are the opposite side of where your teammates are. So let's say, for example, you're on a small map and you're struggling to find the enemies. If you're, all your teammates are in one place, if it, if it was me and I was looking for more enemies to kill, I would go to the other side of the map because then I know like where the enemy should be. Now another thing as well, let's say for example you're on a high score streak and you want to play a bit more safe. If you look at the mini map, you're going to be able to know where your teammates are. And if it was me, I would re retreat back into the safety like with my teammates so there's more people around me and it's not just me. So if I run into like multiple people at once, I'm going to be safe and I'm not going to die as easy as I would if it was just me. So that does help as well and also once again if you have stuff like UAV and UAVs in the air or personal radars etc you guys are going to be able to find out where the enemies are simply just from looking at the minimap because if they don't have ghost on they're going to show up on the minimap and it's going to be extremely helpful for you guys to know where the enemies are and obviously knowing where the enemies are is brilliant because there could be people camping there could be someone flanking the outside of the map there could be someone directly behind you and simply just by looking at the minimap, you guys will see those enemies extremely easy. Anyway, that has been it for today's video. I am going to be uploading a bunch of tips and trick videos throughout the whole entire uh, cycle of this game. I'm going to be uploading a bunch of tips on pretty much everything. So make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't yet. I would extremely appreciate it. I know this video was a bit longer than my usual one, but I wanted to try and include as much information as I could. Anyway, that has been it for today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.